it morning. is 7 30 ish this yeah 7, 28, 28 sunday morning august 15th <sighs> thanks like um we're headed out well we're headed to sacramento proper to go visit with my brother-in-law and his wife yep. for a little bit and then head to the airport to go yep. home first coffee coffee we need coffee i need to find a coffee spot yeah i'll be back guys i would say good morning but it's after two o'clock <laughs> it's monday september 16th and i already caught up um if you see this saw if you're seeing this clip you saw that clip where i was catching up on daily drawings and journaling and taping in some little bits and pieces from our quick california weekend so that was cool um the name of the yarn i did pick up i was just watching the vlog um i picked up noro haruto I'm sure I'm butchering that and I apologize. Um, the name is spelled H-A-R-U-I-T-O. This is color number two. And I already have an idea of what I can make with it. Do I have enough yarn? No idea, but we're gonna try something. May not be long sleeves, it may end up being short sleeves. That's okay. Um, I did get five of these done. I'm working on number six. I might have just enough to get eight squares done, but then no more of this cream color left. So I had to order some more cream because I really want to use the cream in the border. I want it to be long and flowy. And yeah, so anyway, I'm also going to make some more pants. I do have the blue ones on that I made that are like the short ones. Hang on, is that any better? So these are like the short ones I've made. It's really not better, hold on. Maybe that? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. So they're pretty cool. Um, they're big and baggy. Just the way I like them. Yes, sometimes they weigh in form fitting things. No, I'm not that fat. But, you know, even if I was, so what? Anyway, and they look kind of cute with this tank top. I was actually going to purge this tank top because I thought it was a little short to wear with my, you know, my uh, leggings, which I do wear sometimes when I'm not wanting to wear baggy stuff. Um, but it actually looks pretty cute with this these pants. So anyway, uh, I'm going to sit and do some more crocheting. I just got the vlog edited. 
I am going to fold up what squares I do have done and set them aside. I don't think I need to carry all of them with me. My bag is pretty full of yarn. Um, and, but we'll see. I am going to start next week, starting next week, to be doing some extra babysitting. Um, you know what, it's all, it's all good. Less crafting time, but more time with the grandson. It won't last forever. And at some point, he's not gonna want to be around a while anymore. So we're gonna we're gonna take it as we can. And you know, when he's napping, that's when I do a little drawing or mostly crochet. The crochet is really easy to do when he's around, and he thinks yarn is fascinating and the crochet hooks. So I don't know what to say about that. But anyway, I am gonna try to uh, finish editing the vlog and get that uploaded and scheduled crochet maybe cutting out two more pair of pants so i think both long ones i do have some old uh sheets and i also have some linen blend um i don't know i'm probably going to try using i'm probably going to use both um uh, one pair out of each and i'm probably going to dye them because these these colors don't work for me um, especially the white, I, I, it won't stay white. I'll get, I'll get crap on it. Like, let's be honest. Um, but that's okay. I can dye them. Um, so I'll probably try to get those cut out today and then they're ready to be assembled when needed. I do need to clean the sewing machines this week. I haven't done that yet and they really need a defuzzing and an oiling. I'm going to start getting up early before Junior comes, um, which has been working for me to get like a few small things done before he gets here, like the daily drawing and or maybe tomorrow, maybe cleaning out the sewing machines. Um, so I think that'll continue to be a thing for a while. And yeah, I think that's it for the minute. <laughs> I don't know. My brain is just overloaded from the weekend. And although we had a great time, it was great to visit with all the friends and everybody and see everybody. I love visiting Maisie Blue and their little coffee shop next door. I absolutely love it. Um, we did have somebody upstairs from us who just could not stop stomping around all night, like literally 127 in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. I just... We didn't, I don't think we slept for two days. And so last night I went to bed at like 9.30, which I never do. And I woke up at like eight o'clock this morning. I guess I needed the sleep. <laughs> anyway, that's it for the minute, I think. I'll be back. Okay, I didn't wait until tomorrow morning. I cut out two more pair of pants and I went ahead and cleaned and oiled both of the sewing machines over there in the corner. I still have my mother-in-law's machine that I inherited um, that probably is, I know it's been sitting for at least a decade and it needs a good going over but I didn't do that one yet and I'm not sure if I want to do it myself or I want to take it in somewhere and then if you're in the Portland area who do you trust to do that leave something down in the comments below I know of one place I've used in the past and they've done a good job on my newer machines but they don't necessarily have the have the friendliest staff so there's that yeah, anyway, I also have this pile of papers, scraps, that I need to either make mini journals out of or I just need to toss. I'm not really in the mood to deal with it today. Um, Leslie, if you're watching this and you were closer, I would just mail you the box and say, hey, can you make me some little journals that pay us money? Let me know. Anyway. All right. That's it for the minute. Ordered the daughter's 30th birthday present. It might not be here for her birthday, but I have the receipt printed. And I need to go downstairs and finish laundry and do dishes. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is the end of the day on Tuesday. Um, September something. <laughs> uh, 17th? Anyway, I filmed... The rest of Artsy Trio for the year, which I cannot show you. You'll have to wait until the videos come out. Um, babysat all day today. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We are going to do today's drawing now. 
Mr. usually has a late meeting with Asia on Tuesdays. So I have just, it's taken me 18 months, but um, I've discovered that for me, most of the time what works is getting up early in the morning, get a few chores, maybe a little bit of creativity before Junior gets here. And then I babysit all day, I focus on him. Uh, when he's napping, I watch YouTube videos or play online games or something. Um, and then after he goes home, do a little bit more creativity while Mr. is working. Um, and that seems to be working okay. I'm not going to be able to be as productive as I was until he's, you know, in school or daycare or whatever, which is going to be a while yet. So anyway, uh, we're going to do today's daily drawing and some writing about the day. And then I'm going to go just sit and relax because, yeah. All right. I'll be back. Tomorrow, I am going to make a couple more pair of pants, and also my friend Leslie McGrath um, wants to know how I made the pants, so I'm going to write something up for her. Um, these squares I've been making, so I have seven of them done. I really want eight, and then I have to attach them together to make a throw, shrug, giant scarf thing. Um, however... Uh, this ivory colored yarn, this one, I don't have any more. So I did order some, but it's going to be a bit till it gets here. There was no place near me that had any, that color in stock. They have the yarn, but not that color. And, um, Hobby Lobby did have it, but it was on clearance over there because they're only doing their yarns now, I think. Anyway. So I had to order some, so it's gonna have to sit. I'm gonna start on the eighth one, um, but I don't have enough to finish it. I have a, a little teeny tiny bit of this color. I, well, it's not enough. Um, I will start it and then set it aside until the rest of the yarn comes in. And then I do. Ju I did just get that Noro yarn and I think I'm gonna start on that. Um, not that I don't have other projects I could work on, but tomorrow my focus will be making two more pair of pants and then figuring out what color I'm gonna dye them because the colors of the fabric are not. One is white and one is this color. I think this one, I might try to dye an olive green. Um, yeah, anyway, they're both gonna be long pants with the extra pockets. And then I am pulled the extra fabric out because I'm gonna put drawstrings in both. And then, yeah, <sighs> that's my focus for tomorrow. I think it's good focus, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna sit down. I had an extra cup of coffee. It's helping with the exhaustion I'm feeling. Long story we will get into, but yeah. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna sit and watch some videos while Mr. finishes work and I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's just after 9 a.m. on Wednesday. I think it's the 18th of September, maybe. Anyway, Bob is off to the office for a couple hours and um, <laughs> I have so much to do. My brain is just in a fog. Anyway, um, I need to video edit for Artsy Trio after I put things down without spilling my water, hopefully. <laughs> um, I have to make those pair of pants over there that I talked about yesterday. Um, got to check on a bill. Sign a birthday card, take some pictures, like da 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 da. Meanwhile, adopted son Brian is helping me with catering for Friday's birthday celebration for daughter Rebecca. And I so appreciate you, Brian, so much. You have no idea. Anyway, all right, let's get to it and get things done. I'll be back. Got started on the pants, got all the videos edited, loaded to YouTube, and scheduled. Uh, she got the links shared where they needed to be shared and got the posts scheduled in RC Trio. Two of the three. It won't let me do the third one because it's too far out, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, Bob is still at the office. I'm going to go make some lunch and then sit and relax for a little bit and then I guess continue working on the pants. Um, the hard part of making the pants is all the pockets. Once you get the pockets on, the rest is fairly simple. So 
but you know, you know, it's nice to line up the pockets so they kind of, you know, look correct. Anyway, all right. I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. By the way, thank you, adopted son Brian, for helping with dinner Friday. I so appreciate you. All right, I'll be back. I got my hair put up because I got hot. Um, two more pair of the long pa uh, pants made with the wide leg multi pocket. They're made. Um, one is made out of an old bed sheet. One is made out of some linen fabric I picked up on one of our trips. Both of them aren't colors I like. Well, one is white, nothing wrong with white, but I don't wear white pants, <laughs> um, not often anyway. So I'm gonna dye them. The first one is in the dye. I'm gonna do like I did before and dump a bunch of colors in there, see what comes out this time. We have some greens and blue greens and some yellow and they look like they might come out of darkish green, but I mean, I don't know. We'll see. The other one, I'm gonna do black, I think, but I also have some blue and pink left. I don't think it's gonna touch the black or do anything weird to it, but you never know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them all in, because why not? All right, got some dye I need to use up and some pants I need to recolor, so. All right, I am just sort of walking around, getting other things done, waiting for the timer to go off. And, I should probably go get my apron upstairs because I don't want to get dyed. I actually like this shirt. I could try to be careful. Careful. Mm. We'll see. I'll be back. One pair came out this really pretty green. The color's a little patchy as it usually is when I dye something. But I don't really, I don't care. I don't mind. Um, so there's a good example. It's a little patchy, but they're pretty. The other one seems to be coming out a blackish purple or something like that. Anyway. Hi dear, how are you? Hi, 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 hi. I'm fine, I'm dying the pants I made today. You're dying? Ooh, I'm dying, I'm dying. Not that kind of dying, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to like make some noise while you're finished. Are you done with work? Yeah. Okay, dinner time. Yep, I'll be fine. back, it's not dinner time yet. We're gonna go for a walk first, because why not, it's only, in the mid 60s outside, it's not 100 anymore, yay. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is just after 9 a.m. and babysitting day, Thursday, September 19th. Now, <clears throat> he's not here yet, but I was able to get a copy of the pattern um, drafted that I needed to work on and for a friend. And I also got my daily drawings and journaling done already. And I've already had my coffee, done a couple chores. So we're all good, yay. Um, <laughs> so uh, we got the next sewing project. I've got a couple cro crochet projects. I have something that's being delivered in the mail today. I don't know if it's the yarn I'm waiting on or actually not sure but well I guess we'll find out uh it's not supposed to be here till Monday but it says it's out for delivery so I don't know anyway I think that's it for the minute until grandson comes I think I don't know all right I'll be back. morning it is 11 19 a.m on Friday September 20th and um I'm out running a couple errands we forgot a grocery item last night so I'm gonna go get that um, I also picked up some uh, bits and pieces for a couple of mending projects and it's me another bag making project because why not um, anyway um, so I got and, and everything was on sale otherwise I would not have done that today I would have put it off a bit but um, Joanne's was having a really good sale and so I want to save the bucks uh, anyway yeah, out doing that. Then I'm gonna go home and have lunch and then we're gonna start prepping for family dinner night because it is Friday and it, we are celebrating my daughter's birthday. She's gonna be 30 years old and um, yeah, woohoo. I can't believe she's that old. <sighs> An adopted daughter is gonna be 30 in March. Time flies so fast. Anyway, all right, I'll be Good back. Good morning, everybody. It is about 9.30 in the morning and <laughs> typical me, I've finished all my errands 
that I needed to do before I did the post office early. So now I have to sit and wait at the post office to mail off a package. <sighs> anyway, while I was driving, a random little kid like went up our driveway into our side yard. And then the next thing I knew, the camera was going off again. And as mom or grandma or somebody was chasing after, I, just, I don't know. I'm not even home. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Uh, yeah. You know what? I actually am looking for a face cream. I might go over, Rite Aid is like two doors down. Um, yeah, I might go over there and see if they have it. I'm tempted to just walk because why not? So I think I'm going to do that and then come back and mail my pet. Hopefully the post office will be open by then. All right, I'll be back. So we're here to close the vlog, but in case you think uh, I didn't do much today, so <laughs> it started out as a, one square that was going to be an Afghan a blanket to give probably give away out of leftover yarn, and then it became something that I thought was going to be a shawl wrap thing. I don't know exactly what it is now. If it's a shawl wrap thing, it's really big. Not that I'm mad at that, um, and it's really pretty. It's not finished. I'm gonna add some of these colors to the edge. But yeah, it's large and in charge. <laughs> yeah. Big. Yeah, Bob kept warning me I should probably not make it so big, but I didn't listen to him. No. Sorry, dear. It's okay, you never listen to me. <laughs> I sometimes I listen, sometimes. sometimes. Anyway, it's been a fun week. As always, squeezing in creativity into a busy, crazy schedule is always challenging. But if I can do it, you can. Um, check out the video description for relevant links. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to check out the video description also for ways to support the free content here on YouTube. I do have some tutorials I want to film. When they'll happen, I have no idea. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I think that's it. The most important thing is to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We're going to watch this movie, which is very confusing, but very interesting. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.